Welcome back, HU. You already know it's your boy SP the Realist. We coming with the cipher. I hope y'all ready for it. We're gonna be starting up real, real soon. You already know what we do. It's your boy Little Rody. We got a special guest in the building right now. You know we always trying to bring the ill exclusive. So uh sir, can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yo, what up, HU? What's poppin'? It's your boy Shalar Raekwon, the chef. What's good, Wu Tang Assassin? What's poppin'? All right, you know. Yeah. Yo, we really excited <laughs> to have you here, man. Like, no we was waiting, we was like, yo, he's coming today? <laughs> yeah, you know we had to come through, man. This is a legendary building. It's a legendary temple right here. You know, only matches for a legendary rapper, though. That's you know? true. That's so true. Good. That it's so good. No doubt. What's going on, fellas? I know we just had a lot of business, you know. Chilling, you know, mm -hmm. getting back in the school grind. Hip-hop rolling and all that, taking care of your educational things. You already right, so, know, man. What's up? <laughs> All right, so we see, you know, we got the Return of the Purple Tape coming out soon. No doubt. Eight days, you know what I mean? This is an album that had been requested for the last, let me say, 12 years of my career. People have been asking for part two. Mm -hmm. It's finally here. It's coming in eight right. days. You know what I mean? It's a strong album. Only built for Cuban Links part two. We made the first one in 95. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was young then. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. Young boys up, so. yeah. I know y'all gonna go get your copies of the first one and you know what I mean, get your copy of the second one. But you know, it's just basically though, that's an album for MCs, you know what I mean? The album is definitely. a strong content of rap where, you know, I was telling stories from my neighborhood as well, you know what I mean? So it's a concept album, you know, street life stuff, stuff that I've been through all my life and um what I escaped from. So, you know, the same way we was doing it on that one is how we doing it on part two, you know what I mean? Part two is is very special to me because it's like all I became was an author on this album, you know what I mean? Mm. Where I was able to paint pictures the way we did back then. Though. So it's kind of like going to be in the same frame of mind. And solid hip-hop. When you want solid hip-hop, meaning that it ain't like filled with stuff that's like R&B-ish and all of that, you know yeah, what I mean? Like straight spitting. Straight spitting. Straight, spittin', just, straight, just spittin', going in, straight, going straight with everybody once again, you know what I mean? This okay. is what we gave y'all on this album. <clears throat> okay, cool. So, um, I had my first question was, um, I guess, like, you were, like, one of the first rappers who really set the stage, like, for, like, the whole mafia and, like, gangster music influence. And, like, you really brought that to the forefront in hip-hop. And because you did that, that set it, like, a trend for, like, a lot of other rappers to try to follow your mold. Right. So, like, my question is, like, how has is, how is the game changed since you, you know, you started this? Well, the game changed a lot, you know what I mean? Because, you know, we was coming up, it was really always about being an MC first. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about making an album, you know what I mean? Or even thinking that far, you know? You just wanted to be heard, respected. You know, you wanted to be able to, if you ran across a battle, you know you can hold your own, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's all the stuff I grew up on. So, it changed drastically because it seems like now, you know, you got a lot of these young cats that's coming in the game, and it ain't just the fact that they're young. I mean, when I say young, I mean new to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not so much young, like... They got, like, a young mentality. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Just yeah. not knowing the game. Anything that you don't know, you consider young to knowing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, for <clears throat> me, it's just like, you know, a lot of dudes is just trying to make, make records for purposes really just to be heard, but not really represent that MC side. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I always feel like before you could go get the money, get the respect, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just about being more creativity, being more creative with your music. You know, it's like a lot of a lot of times dudes come in under A and R's where A and R's make you do or say whatever yeah, they want you to exactly. say. Exactly. So it's like, you know, I just feel like that that wasn't the way we was coming up. We really had to make a mark. We had to work hard. We had no red carpets or none of that given to us. We had to really show dudes skills. Right. So that's where we was at with it. skills. I guess you know we've been talking on the, the lyrical aspect, but on a um, on a production side, you know the first album, you know you had a, it was all produced by the RZA. Yeah. You know, this time around, it's only about six tracks. So you yeah. know, is there a specific reason for that? You know, is it you trying to venture out or you know? I mean, you know, you know what I mean. To keep it real with you, it's like when you think of part one, we already know RZA dog that. You know what I mean? RZA did his thing. Part two, it had to be different from part one. You know what I mean? Cause then it wouldn't be part two, exactly. you know. Yeah. You know when you go to the movies and you see something that you see in a sequel to or whatever, it has to change. You know what I mean? So that was my thing. I wanted to be able to invite some other strong production inside the camp and really go into the world with me and RZA and the clan created. 
you know, when you think of the first one, the first one is already a classic. It's in a box already, bomb, glass box. This one right here, it's like me now, you know what I mean? And yeah. the things that I'm going through, as well as going back to the days of when we was making real hip hop, so I needed a twist on it, you know? And then at the same time, when you have powerful producers in the game giving you calls, like dudes that you grew up on and you fans, and they tell you they got it, and you can see it and feel it yourself, it's hard for me to turn that down because uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dude that believe in respecting the dudes that allowed me to, to be here right now. Right. Right? You know what I mean? My life could have went in so many different places and I, and I respect y'all because, you know, y'all going out there to get y'all education and that to me is so important, you know what I mean? It's like to go out there and um, get that. You know, a lot of us wasn't fortunate with, with getting it like that. Word. Word. So I guess my, my next question was, like, one of the other producers I know you work with was uh, Pete Rock. So could you speak a little bit how it was, like, working with him? And, like, you know, I know you did, you know, stuff with him yeah. and, and uh, Alchemist, I believe, yeah. too. Yeah, so. Pete Rock, you know what I mean? Pete Rock is a, um, a good friend of mine. You know, I knew Pete Rock since we came in the game. You know, and he was the type of brother that, you know, definitely a lot of us really looked up to what they did mm -hmm. and the CL Smooth. You know, I don't know if a lot of people know that Pete Rock was Molly Mars right here man you know what i mean yeah. like they worked at the station and all of that and um you know what i mean and um you know like i said you know i wanted to work with him on this record um it's so ill because he used the same beat for his album and it's the same beat that i took from him you know what i mean so i just wanted to have him involved because he's definitely a legend you know any kid that's out there that's doing their thing and um rhyming and all that they got to know some of the dudes that been there for so long really coming with that real gutter stuff. So I needed to have him on the record. You All know, right. I went and got the young G Alchemist, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all know who he is, but he's the um he's the brain behind the mob, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah the, definitely. One definitely. of the Chemical strong warfare. producers and all that. You know, and these are my friends, you know what I mean? These are dudes that I, in my in my time of coming up in the game I had relationships with. So it was only a matter of time before we start working together. That's All cool. right, so we about to hit him with that new woo. You know, you should have heard it. If not, we're about to break it to you right put now. Put them on, put them on. <laughs> All right, so, you know, Wu-Tang stand up. All right, yeah. stay tuned, y'all. Let's do it.